If you've seen my homemade powder coating gun video, which I have linked up here in the, in the top right hand corner, uh, there's really three core components that make up this gun and the rest you can, you can switch and change uh, to your liking. Um, so what you'll need is a power source. This is a, a wall plug. I think it's 12 volt, 2.5 amps. You'll need the high voltage module that takes in that 12 volts and then turns it into um, uh, tens of thousands of volts. And I show you how to make this in, in that video. Uh, and you'll also need to, to make a electrostatic chamber that mounts to the front of your gun that as the powder comes up and enters through this end and you have the high voltage wire, which is the yellow wire connected here, connected to a rod and as it exits out here it is charged uh, the powder is then charged and the workpiece is connected to this blue wire and as the as the powder comes to it um, it cleans uh, because of that electrostatic nature so I'm going to show you um, specifically how to make uh, this chamber um, and you reference the video to be able to to make this um, and we go from there Now that you've made this uh, wire contraption, now it's time to be able to fit it to the, to the chamber. This is just simply 15 mil pipe um, with a hole drilled at this point uh, for the, to the wire to, to pop out for the clamp to clip onto. Um, to be able to measure where that hole is or should be, all I did here was as I worked out how much I wanted of the wire to hang out the end, which is just a little bit there. Um, and then I, I marked where I, that should be and I drilled a hole based on the thickness of this, this wire here. Um, now all that um, is required to be able to do is now push this up into, into that tube. You may be wondering how I measured the depth of this wire here. What I did was is I made sure that it could fit into that tube really nice and uh, quite tightly because uh, any more you wouldn't be able to slide it up there, any less you won't have as much hanging out the top. So all that's left to do is make sure that you have the right end. So where's the hole? The hole's this end. So I insert it. So the hole's up here. I will insert it in this direction here because of the shape of these wires. And I push it all the way in. So I can get it in like this. I push it all the way in. And those that will use hold it in the center of the gun with pressure. And then all I need to be able to do here is on this end is now with a long needle nose pliers, 
push it up through that hole. I won't be able to show that on this video because it's a little bit of a fiddly process, um, but you just uh, align it with the hole and poke it through. Okay, now that you've done that, that's it. So you see here you have uh, the inlet of the gun would come here. The, uh, the powder will come up into this chamber and you'll have your positive yellow wire connected to this um, little bit of wire uh, protruding there. Uh, the particles will charge and as it exits the gun and heads uh, to the workpiece that's attached to the blue wire, so the blue wire is attached to the workpiece, uh, you'll see that it will cling there. So that's how you make the electrostatic chamber.